So for our episode of Real Talk today, we are going to be going over a market update. As you can see, I have all the stats behind me. We're going to go through each one of these in depth. However, I will introduce myself first, Savannah Shepard, broker of Cell State Vision Realty. And as I always say, if you know of anyone looking to buy a home, sell a house, invest in real estate, or look into a brokerage, I would be more than happy to talk with them and walk them through that process. So let's dive into the fun part, the numbers. So we're going to go over for the month of May compared to the month of April, compared to what it was this time last year. And as you can see, I have these little arrows that we're going to follow along with whether the market is up and down and what that indicator means. First number, closed sales. In the month of May, we had 404 houses. These are going off single family homes. All of these numbers, single family homes for Port Charlotte, Punta Gorda, and Northport. I run the numbers on Sarasota and uh, Lee County as well. So if you're interested, let me know and I can give those to you. This, I try to keep a little more simple. So we've got 404 houses that closed in the month of May. Comparing to the month of April, we were at 398. Very small difference. However, we did have less homes close in April than we did in May. And then comparing to that in the month of 2021, we are down with 424 houses. So we had 20 houses less closed this month than we did this time last year. Moving on to our next number, medium sales price. Our medium sales price is now $385. And as you can see right over here, $385. And for May, it was, I'm sorry, for April, it was $399. Again, very small amount, but you can start to see things are slowly changing just a tad bit. Not a crash, but just readjusting. Going on until last year, this time, we were at $305. So we still have about eighty dollars to $100,000 more than what we were at this time last year. And that is medium sales. Average sales, again, medium average are going to be a little bit different. The median versus the average. The average sale price for May was $454, where the month of April was $478. And this time last year, the month of May, we were at $385. So again, this time comparing to last year, we are about $100,000 more. However, going against April to May, it's $100 versus $90,000. Small shift, but it is a shift. And I really believe we are going to continue to see this in the months to come. Just a very small shift. Going into our next figure is medium of original, median of original list price. So if you list your house at a market value, I'm not talking about overpricing your house. I'm saying if you list it at a market value, your agent says, I suggest you list your house for $750,000. You list it for $750,000. Our average is still at 100%. We're still getting 100% of list price. Yes, we are still getting multiple offers in some situations. In the situations where not, you're still averaging out to get list price and not get, you know, 75% of list price. We're not in a market where it's, oh my goodness, yeah, I can get so much under asking. No, however, it's a shift, but it's still nothing insane. So that's a good average to know that's still continuing on. All right, moving on to our next board here. I have median time to contract. Um, this number right here is seven days. That is, I didn't do a comparison on that. I just did for the month of May. It's the exact same in April. And I want to say it was the exact same this time last year. Hasn't changed a whole lot. Your house still should not sit very long. If you list it correctly, it's an average of seven days. Um, time to contract, I didn't put on here, but that's about a month and a half. 45 days is about where we're sitting on that statistic. Going on to pending sales. Right now, for the month of May, we closed out 460 deals. And let me correct myself, I did not close out pending. So that means they haven't closed yet. Next month when I do this video, I'm gonna hit those numbers right here on the closed sales. But these ones are still pending. So we have 460 deals pending. For the month of April, we had 471 deals pending. Can you guys see that is a continuing shift? Right here, our sales were down just a little bit. Now our pending sales are down just a little bit this month which means our sales are going to be down again next month. Moving on, then we go back to this time last year was 493 deals. So we are down on both of those. 
This time last year, 400 and 493. This time last month, 473. And we're sitting at 460 for the month of May. Again, a little bit of a shift. That's to be expected. Um, new listings that hit the market. This one is up. That points right back to a shift as well. Um, we've got 556 houses that were listed in the month of May. For the month of April, we had 550. It is such a small shift. It's, it's crazy how close these numbers are, but it is a shift. And then this time last year was 517 houses on the market. So again, our inventory was low, but our inventory is starting to come back up slowly. It is not a buyer's market. For those people I'm hearing, oh, it's a buyer's market now. No, it's not. I've taught you guys, I've done many videos, anything under six month inventory is a, is a seller's market. Anything over six months is a buyer's market. We're not in the buyer's market. To give you the exact statistic on that, monthly inventory, right now we're at one and a half months. That goes almost the same throughout condos and um, you know, duplex, anything else right now, it's about one and a half months for our area here. Not a buyer's market, we are still in a seller's market. However, according to these statistics, we are starting to see a shift. And I can kind of look at what the next month is going to be by seeing our pending sales and see we're going to continue with the shift. That's to be expected. With the rates and whatnot, it is going to happen. It's to be expected. Um, nothing in these numbers surprises me. However, I do find them interesting and I do like going over them and I want to share them with you. If you guys have any questions, I do stay up with this video. So comment below. Let me know. I will watch that and I will give you an answer or reply back. Hope you have a great day and I'll see you next time.